Yes, members? Yes, yes, Nalo Yes, sure. Let's continue. Are we still together? Yes. Uh huh. So we are saying the slope of velocity or speed time graph is, is what? Eh? Give us what? Acceleration. Give us what? Acceleration. So which means the slope acceleration will be equals to V minus U out of what? Out of T. That's how we derive the first formula. Okay? That's how we derive the first equation. So which means V will be equals to U plus A what? Plus A T. Are we together members? Yes, that's how we derive from the graph using, that's how we derive the first, form, the first equation. This is the first equation using graph, using graph, using, using what? Members, are we together? Yes. yes. That's how we derive the first equation of motion from where? From where? From the graph. And that graph yeah. is, in, is a velocity time or speed time what? Speed time graph. Okay? Yeah. Yes. So you see that the slope will give us the slope of a velocity time graph is what? Is what? Is acceleration. Is acceleration. Am I clear, members? Am I clear on that? Yes. Very good. Let's go to the third equation. Let's go to the third equation. Third equation of motion. Third equation of motion. Third equation of motion. Now for us to, what is going to help us to derive the, the third equation of motion? We are going to combine the first two equations that we have looked at. We are going to combine the first and the second, okay? We are going to combine the first and the what? So we said from, from the second equation, from the second equation of motion, from the second equation of motion, where we said S is equals to UT plus a half AT what? AT squared. Mm -hmm. But, but from the first one from the first equation from the first equation of motion from the first equation which is v is equals to u plus at so the only thing we are going to make here is that we are going to make time the subject from the first equation of motion so make t the subject make t the subject of the equation make t the subject of the equation so when you make t the subject of the equation, what do you get? We shall have t is going to be equal to v minus u out of out of a. Not so? Yes. Uh huh. So let's call this one our star. Let's call it a star. Let's call it a star. Now substitute substitute star. Substitute star. Let's call this one equation one. Members, let's call this one equation one. It's not equation of motion, but we are just calling the equation one. Okay. Substitute star in equation one. Substitute star in equation one. And our equation one is equals to S equals to UT plus a half AT squared. So which means where there's time, we are going to substitute V minus U over A. So which means I will have now I will have S equals to U mm -hmm, into T, which is V minus U out of A mm -hmm, plus a half A into V minus U out of A, but what? But squared. Members, are you following that? Yes. Good, good. Now, when you look at this equation, what do you see is common? V minus U out of A is common, right? Yes. There's no time. You don't even need to expand this. That one is wasting time. Just, just factorize because V minus A is common. Or from here, you can even you can start from here. 
Okay? You can start from here. You can see that T is common. You factorize out that T. Or you can say or or S equals to UT plus a half AT squared. Factorize T, which means I'll have S equals to T into, uh, here I will remain with only U plus a half a a t. Members, have you seen that? Members, have you seen that? Uh huh. If you have seen that, if you have seen that, now we proceed. We are going to say s equals to s equals to t into u plus a half a t. Let me just make it like that. Let's just make it like that. So you see that S is equals to our T, which we said is V minus U out of A into, into another bracket again. Let's, let's use a big bracket. Mm -hmm. There we remain with the U plus a half A plus a half A, a half A, my T, which is V minus U out of A. Then close that bracket. Close that bracket. So our S is going to be V minus U out of A into, let's simplify the brackets. Let's simplify the brackets. Let's simplify the brackets. So you find that this A is going to cancel this A. Not so. Members, are you seeing that? Yes. Mm -hmm. This A is going to cancel, which means this A is going to remove our S. Then we remain with U plus plus a half into V minus U. Close that bracket, close that bracket. So our S is going to be equal to V minus U out of A, out of A into U plus. Now this one we can write it is the same as V minus U, everything is out of what? Out of two. This is the same as over what? Over one. Over one. So S is equal to V minus U out of A into, get the LCM. What is the LCM of two and one is what? Two. So this one will give two. us two, two U, not two so? U. Plus, yes. plus V minus? V minus U. V minus U. So S is equal to V minus U out of A into, you see that I have two U, two U minus U, not so? Plus, yes. plus V over? over two. So S is equals to V minus U out of A into two U minus U give us what? U. U. Plus V over what? Over two. two. Mm -hmm. So you see that S is equals to, now we shall have V minus U into U plus V over what? Two. two. Over what? Two A. Over two, two A. A. Uh huh. You expand this one. When you expand that one, what do you get? You shall get this time this. You can see this one. What is this one, members? This one is different. No, is it not different of two squares? Yeah, it's different of two squares. Okay, let's let's work it's it. Let's okay, let's work it out and we see. Let's work it out and we see. But you can see this one clear. This is different of two two squares. Square. So which means so which means it's going to be v squared minus u what? U squared. Over what? Over two? two? Two A. Two A. This is over one. Cross multiply. When you cross multiply, we shall have? We shall have V squared minus U squared equals to two A. Two A what? S. Two A S. S. Then make V squared the subject. When you make V squared the squ subject, we shall have? It implies now V squared is equals to U squared plus two A what? Plus two A S. Is it not the equation we normally use? Is it not the one? Yes. It's yes, the, the one. one. So therefore, V squared is equal to U squared plus 2A S. And this is the third equation of motion. Those are the three basic equations of motion we have. If there's any question on how we derive that formula, ask me. Is there any question on how, we to, de on how to derive that? No. I'm very clear, not so. Yeah. Mm. Bega, am I clear? Yes, teacher. What about Steven? Steven, am I clear? 
Steven, am I clear? What about yes, Baptist? Teacher. What about Baptist? It's clear. Okay. No one should fail on how to derive those equations. You have seen, we have laid them out very clearly there. You, you have seen them. Okay? Yes. Now, you check on the notes. We are saying that the three equations apply only to uniformly accelerated motion. So that's another thing you must take note of. Check in the side of the notes. Note. The three equation is only applied when a body is what? Under uniform acceleration. When a body is under uniform what? Acceleration. acceleration. And when we talk of uniform acceleration is when the rate of change of velocity is constant, is when the rate of change of velocity is what? Constant. That's why, that's why I was able to draw for you this graph here when I was deriving this. That's why I was able to draw for you because I'm assuming the body is what? Under uniform acceleration. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Then we also say the second thing you must take note of. When a body starts from rest, when a body starts from rest, note, when a body starts from rest, starts from where? From rest. Just know that the initial speed must be what? The initial speed must be I together zero. And must be zero. The, but when a body comes to rest, comes to rest. When a body comes to rest, which means the final velocity must be what? Zero. Mem members, have you seen those two statements there? Have you seen those two statements yeah. there? Yeah. When it's starting from rest, the initial must be zero. But when is a body is being brought to rest, it's like when you are riding a bicycle. When you are riding a bicycle, <laughs> eh? when you are riding a bicycle, when you come to rest, your final velocity at that point will be what? Your velocity at that point is zero, and that velocity will call it a final. You call it a final velocity. Are we clear, members? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Then the, the third thing you must also take note of. The acceleration is on is can either be positive or negative. I talk of acceleration and deceleration. I talk of acceleration. For acceleration, which means is what? Positive. Then deceleration. Deceleration means is what? Eh? Negative. Negative. Take note of that. Why am I bringing this? This is going to help us in calculations. In what? Eh? In calculations. Steve. Yes. So we are saying that when it is a negative, then we say it, it is known as retardation. It is known as retardation or deceleration. So another word you can use is or retard. We said that at that point you are what? You are retarding. You are what? Eh? Retarding. Good. Cancellations. Members. Subheading cancellations. Members, when you are doing cancellations, under cancellations, I want you to pay attention to these three things. When you are doing cancellations, the first thing, if you are there the other time, I said the first thing must be, must be what? If, if you don't know formula, you will never succeed in any doing cancellation on this planet. Unless if you are going to use over witchcraft, I don't know which formula you will use. But as long as you are carrying out the equation, you must write the formula. You must write the formula. Then you must be in position to substitute correctly, correct substitution. You must be in position to substitute correctly. After making correct substitution, then you must be accurate. Look at accuracy and units. Accuracy and units. Those are the three things I want you to take note of when you are doing calculation. So whenever I give you any question on calculation, I want to see a formula. I want you to see making correct substitution. Then make sure you know how to use calculator. Then if unless, unless what you are calculating is a ratio of the same quantity, which means that it will not have a unit. But if it have a unit, then it must be included in your calculation. Remember, is it noted down? Is it noted?
Mama, is it noted? Very good. Very good. Let's go to example number one. Let's go to question number one. Yes, teacher. Question number one. Mm -hmm. Question number one is saying, to show that Narobega is not sleeping. Narobega, can you read first the question I, to show that you are not sleeping? Can you read first the question? Narobega, can you read first that question? I can't move with the velocity of 10 meters per second. Mm -hmm. Accelerates uniformly at one meter per second squared. Mm -hmm. Until it reaches a velocity of 15 meters per second. Mm -hmm. Calculate Roman one, the mm -hmm. time taken. Roman two, the distance traveled during the acceleration. Mm -hmm. Then you can see the velocity reached 100 meters from the place where acceleration began. Okay, good. So, solution. We go for solution. Now, when you are doing calculation, make sure that you are able to collect the data because it's from the data that is going to is the one who is going to guide you to which formula to to use. Now, when you look at the question, they are saying a car moving with a velocity of ten meters per second accelerate uniformly, accelerate uniformly at one meter per second squared until it reaches a velocity of fifteen. We have two velocities there. Which one is final and which one is initial members? Our initial velocity is it? What is our initial velocity? 10 meters per second. Is 10, 10 meters. meters. Uh -huh. Then the final velocity? The final velocity is 10 meters per second. Was acceleration given? Was acceleration yes. given? Yes. Acceleration was given. Yes. A. A was given to yes. be 1 meters per second squared. Yes, we have collected the data, not so? We have collected the data. Now come to question one, Roman one. They're saying find the time taken. Time taken. You pause on a bit. Here we are going to use the equation of motions. Those are the formulas. Now we are looking for time taken, time taken T. Of the three equations that we have looked at, which formula are we going to use? Are we going to use the first equation? Are we going to use the second? Or we are going to use the third one? Look, based on what is given, look at what is given to determine which formula to use. Which, the first equation. Uh -huh. Then you come and say, it, from the first equation of motion, from the first equation of motion. Presentation matters, members. Presentation of work matters. It shows that you know what you are doing, not, you, not that you are gambling. So V equals to U plus AT. Before even substituting, now you have written the formula. That is perfect. Before even substituting, make sure that what you want must be make it the subject of that formula or of that equation. We are looking for time t. So can you make t the subject first before substituting anything to avoid errors? To avoid what? Errors. Yeah. So v minus u out of a that will be our what time taken. Not so. Mm -hmm. After writing now this, make the substitution. Now we go to substitution. So T will be equal to our V, which is now 15. Because now you have told examiner V is 15, U is it? So whatever you are substituting is not new. The examiner knows because you have written everything down. The examiner will be able to follow them clearly. Minus 10. Divide by acceleration, which is what? One. When you are substituting, don't put units. When you are substituting, don't put what? Units. You will put the units after making the calculations. So our A will be equals to five divided by one. Therefore, our acceleration, I mean our time, sorry, time, sorry, time. Our time will be equal to what? Five what? Now, if you have problem with writing the symbols, that S must be a small S. And some you don't know how to write five. Your five look also look like S. That's where a problem will come. Make sure that you practice on how to write five very well. You say, therefore, T is equals to five seconds, like that. Are you together, members? Yes, then another point to note, when you are doing calculations, 
whenever you are doing calculation members don't put for you call it a full stop you may find someone has got the answer is five then you put there is a full stop no this is wrong in calculation this one is wrong just write five and a unit don't write don't put a full stop even after a unit don't put a full stop after a unit that one is wrong don't write don't write for me five seconds then you put a full stop there that one this one is wrong just write what five seconds for you may take it as a full stop but in science we take it as decimal point i will assume that there's something you're forgotten to write there are you together members members am i clear enough yes. what have i said i said when you are doing calculation you should avoid putting what eh? Full stops. A full stop for you to call it a full stop, but for me, I will not take it as a full stop because I'm not a teacher of English. Okay? Yes, yes I will take it as a decimal. A decimal point. So we have got our time. So let's go to Roman 2. Roman 2. Roman 2, they're asking for what? Eh? Distance. Distance traveled. Distance traveled which we call it our s in our equation we call it s so which equation are we going to use with the question uh-huh you come and say it oh you can just say using s equals to ut plus i have a t squared not from anywhere then is that's right is that equation yours are you the one who discovered it <laughs> you said using s equals to <laughs> <laughs> using s equals to ut plus i have 80 squared okay uh-huh so our we shall have s equals to now we have because we want s which is our displacement there's nothing is already the subject no so so the only thing is substitution what is our u our u was 10 10 then put them in brackets so that you don't mess up with integers. You don't mess up with integers. Times, the time which we have got, time we got time is what? Five. Plus, I have time. Acceleration was given to be one. Time, five squared. Write it smartly like that. So, S equals to 50 plus I have times one times 21 eh? times 25 so s is going to be equal to 50 plus mm -hmm. one time one i don't want you to waste time like you are still in p senior one or senior two this one you can just do it mm -hmm. one time one times that 25 divided by two that one will give us 12.5 and also take note of how you write your decimal point how you put a decimal point some you put a decimal point like that. Make sure that is a point. Make sure that is a what? Eh? It should not look like a dash. Therefore, our S is equals to 60 what? 62.5. After that, put the unit. Underline it. A good student will underline. A good student will what? Underline because this one you are doing calculations. You are not explaining. You are calculating. So the final answer must be underlined. Are you together, members? Are we together? Yes. And also be organized. Make sure that equal sign are in one line. Equal sign must be in one line. Some you write in zigzag. You find S is here, then you start putting arrows to show the way you are writing. Make sure that your work is organized in one line. Equal sign must appear in one line. It will become very nice to mark your work. That's what we call being organized. Being what? Eh? Organized. There's what we call marking by impression. So when your work is organized, people would also pay attention to your work. And they give you the mark you deserve. Are you together, members? Am I talking to myself or someone is listening to me? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Respond. Uh huh. Roman three. They're asking for the velocity. They want us to find velocity. Velocity reach one hundred meters from the place where 
acceleration began. So they want us to find the final velocity, no so. So this one they're asking for the final. Final what eh? Final velocity V, we don't know because they're saying from where the acceleration began. So which means our initial, our initial velocity, our initial velocity still remain what? Still remain 10 meters per, per second, okay? Are you together, my man? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where acceleration began. So which means the body will continue accelerating at the same rate because they said uniformly, body is accelerating uniformly. So our acceleration will still be one meters per second squared. Uh-huh. So what are we going to do to find the to find the velocity? We had have given us displacement, they've given us distance. They've given us distance. S was given to be 100 meters. So what's the equation of motion I'm going to use here? Third equation. From the third one. We said using using V squared equals to U squared plus 2A S. All those are marks. What you are writing is marks. The highest mark in physics is, a, is, is one. Then the lowest is a half. Then the other one is zero. Those are the three marks we have in physics. You have a full mark. That is one. Then you either a half or you have a zero. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. What are we looking for? We are looking for V. Is already the subject, so we just substitute. Or you can say V is equals to, you get the square root of that, U squared plus 2AS. It's not hard to get that. So which means V is equals to the square root of U which is 10 squared plus 2 times 1 times 100 times 100. So our V will be equals to 100 plus. What do you get there? Is it 300? I mean, is it 200? Is it 200 members? Yes, teacher. Okay. So our V is equals to the square root of yes. the, the square root of 300. What is the square root of 300? Therefore, V is equals to what do you get? First reset your calculator before you press anything. First reset to avoid errors. So what is the square root of 300? We get? 17.3205. 17.3205. At least write your answers to four decimal places. To four decimal what? Eh? Places. Places. Mm -hmm. What is missing? When I leave my answer like that, is it correct? No. What is missing? Units. Unit, good. Size. Good, 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 members. Very good. Then you read the accuracy. You read the degree of accuracy of your answer. This one we, we have given to how many decimal places? We have written to how many four decimal places? To four decimal? To four decimal. Yes. So you give the accuracy of your answer. That's what... That's why when you see a question paper, they said state the accuracy of your answer. So this is what they are meaning. So you write the accuracy in the brackets. That was a year I told students to write the accuracy of their answer, the de degree of accuracy of their answer. You know what they wrote for me? Do you know what they wrote for me? No. People said 17.320, 180 degrees, because they said I was talking about degrees. 180 degrees. Some, some people are writing 60 degrees, 90 degrees. <laughs> so when we talk of accuracy here, we are talking about the, the, how precise your answer is, okay? You are giving the precision of your answer, okay? Are you together, members? Yes, teacher. Yes, so you write decimal places, or you can talk of significant figures. Those are the two ways. You either talk of decimal places or significant figures if you want to write it in significant figures or to five to five what significant figures are you together members six. yes your answer must be either to four decimal places or to five significant figures 
But when you look at our answer there, there are how many significant figures are those? There are six. There are six, not so? So you can reduce it to five significant figures. That's why I talk, there's more place and significant figures that are not the same. That's the difference now there, okay? Yes. If there's any question, please ask me. Stephen, I saw your hands was up. Stephen, I saw your hands was up. Is there any question, Stephen? Good teacher. Okay. Now, with all what we have done, members, with all what we have done, I think there is no calculation now you can fail, right? Okay. I think this question is here. I think this exercise is here. I think the exercise. Members, I think the exercise there. Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you write the question down? Write them down. That is your, that is your exercise. There are many in numbers. There are four. There are four. Write down the question. Just take the screenshot. Just take the screen. The screenshot. Okay. Just take the screenshot, please. We have. We have nine minutes remaining. Make sure that by the time it's ending, you have all the four questions. I don't know what I'm going to do, but make sure you have all the four questions. And you must submit. You must what? Eh? Submit before sunset. Uh, before sunset, very good. Uh, but, but now it's already, it's already, it's already what? It's already five. I've given, I've given you today and tomorrow. Today and what? Members, yes. I've given you today and what? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. The answers are the answer. I think the answers are already in the brackets. But you submit because I want to see how you are going to present. I want to see presentation of work. Okay. Are you together? The answers are already there. But what I'm interested in presentation of work. I want to see how you are going to present your work. That's why I'm telling you to submit. Okay. Members, are you getting me? The answers are already there, but what I'm interested in, presentation of work. That's what I'm telling you to submit. For Baptist, 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 can you talk to me, Baptist? Hey, what is Baptist doing? Baptist? Huh. Baptist, I don't know what you have, I don't know what Baptist is doing. I, Stephen and Mary, you have my number. You have my what, eh? You have my number. But it's only is only Baptist. It's only Baptist without my number. Baptist. Baptist. Baptist, after doing the work, submit it on this number. Submit it on this WhatsApp number. 077-67-899-09. After doing the work, submit it on that number. Are you together, members? Members, are we together? Hello, Bega. Yes, I've seen you have yes, started teacher. you have started touching saucepan. Do you want to start cooking supper? <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, let me give you time to prepare for other things, okay? Okay? Yes. Yes. Yes, but you submit the work. I know you are a good student. It's only back this way. I'm not sure I'm not sure of. The rest, the two of you, I'm sure of you, you are going to submit. Back this, I want to see your work first. Okay, if there are no questions, I believe you have finished copying the question, right? If you have not taken, then I say take the screenshot. 
take the screenshot take the screenshot otherwise have a nice day be blessed otherwise be what eh? bless nice day members you sleep you sleep well and have good dreams don't don't have dreams like you are beggars it's only beggars who have bad dreams okay i get me members people are having people are having sweet dreams people are saying that we are getting a in physics we are going to get 20 points for where for you are dreaming that you are falling from the bed what kind of dream is that hmm? yeah so let's have good dreams okay have a nice day